and welcome to the Gospel Minute from St. Michael's Orthodox Church in Geneva, New York. I'm Steve Toby. Today's Gospel lesson is from St. Matthew, chapter 11, verses 27 through 30. Before we read today's Gospel, let's pray with Father Gregory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Illumine our hearts, O Master, who lovest mankind with the pure light of thy divine knowledge. Open the eyes of our mind to the understanding of thy gospel teachings. Implant also in us the fear of thy blessed commandments, that trampling down all carnal desires, we may enter upon a spiritual manner of living, both thinking and doing such things as are well-pleasing unto thee. For thou art the illumination of our souls and bodies, O Christ our God, and unto thee we ascribe glory, together with thy Father who is from everlasting, then all holy good and life-creating spirit, both now and ever to ages of ages. Amen. And now today's Gospel according to St. Matthew. All things have been delivered to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. The Word of God. In verse 25 of this chapter, our Lord thanks the Father for keeping the truth from the prideful among the Pharisees, and revealing the truth to the humble of heart, that is, the innocent, the babes. Compared to what the Pharisees teach, his way, that is, his yoke, is much easier to bear. Only through meekness and humility can we fully understand what the Lord is teaching us. Our Lord declares himself to be meek and humble, and through his example so should we. His yoke, that is his teaching, is easy to bear. Love your God, love your neighbor. Only through meekness and humility, like the innocence of a babe, can we learn and understand his teaching? Well, have a good day, everybody, and I'll see you again tomorrow. And may God bless us all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, give thanks unto the